players, but the man who has really set the tone for this club has been Don Mattingly, who has come back and you can see hitting 300 once again from those back miseries that really affected him in recent seasons. Mattingly lines it down the right field line and it's hooking foul and just foul by about six feet. Probably see some swings like that on first pitches by the Yankee left hand hitters because if if you're going to handle Chuck Finley as a left hander you better hit that first fastball you see because once he gets ahead that fork ball and curveball are much more difficult to hit. And because Mattingly feels a lot better with his back problems he's more comfortable at the plate and he's having fun because of the way this team is playing you know the pitchers are doing a good job not spending so much time out there in the field agonizing over the losing record like he was in past years. Strike one pitch to Mattingly and here's a line drive hit into center field Venable retrieves and holding its second base is Randy Velarde so the Yankees are staging an uprising here in the first inning as Mattingly singled runners at first and second and a typical Mattingly hit when the ball is not inside where he can pull it he has the ability to slash it the other way it's a big inning for the Angels and Chuck Finley because his last half dozen starts have not been the Chuck Finley of 1990 this is deep her ball big swing back to the mound Taylor will make the throw to first to retire the side the Angels tie it up with no base hit. Don Mattingly, Mel Hall, and Matt Noakes, the three, four, and five hitters, are up for the Yankees in the third inning, and we're very happy to welcome here in our booth. They had a, an old-timers game. You don't want to call any of these guys old-timers. No, Harmon no. Killebrew, one of the greats of all time, and, of course, a former teammate of my partner, Jim Cotton, in Washington, as well as Oh, Minnesota. I'll say it. I, uh, boy, they... High school All-American quarterback. You remember when they... You're one of the few guys that can remember <laughs> far back. Remember when they went out to... Uh, to Idaho and Ozzy Bougie That's came right. out there, right? Yeah. The Could have used you today, Kitty. Nah. <laughs> a lot of people can't hard enough for that game. <laughs> I ran out of pitches. Don Mattingly single his first time up, takes a breaking ball outside, one and zero. Oh. Masters of the game. That's a great description for the old timers or seniors as Mattingly swings and misses. Well, you guys were in a World Series together in 65. Yeah, we sure were. We should have been in several more, huh, yeah, I, I think so. I read. Still the most dramatic home run, I think, in Twins history was the one you hit off Pete Mickelson against the Yankees just for the All-Star. You probably remember every pitch in that. Well, I do, and, and that put us five games up uh, on the Yankees and uh, went on to win the World with the uh, championship in the American League then. You had a power laden team. I mean, when, you know, the Yankees had dominated, 65, the Yankees really went down the chute, but your lineup was really tough one through eight almost. Well, Dick, they really felt the, the Yankees felt that if they won that series, they'd go on to win another championship that year, and it uh, wasn't to be. Two balls and two strikes to Mattingly. Still one, think about one. Still think about that last weekend in Boston? No, oh, Jim, yeah. Jim Cott had not hurt his elbow, Dick. In 1967 against the Red Sox, we would have been in another World Series. We were leading one game up on the, the Red Sox going in there to Fenway Park with two games to play. Jim hurt his elbow. We lost that game in the final game of the season to lose to the Red Sox. Three balls and two strikes to Mattingly, leading off, and he takes ball four. Well, in the old-timers game, well, guess who hit a home run? 3-2 pitch, all goes, and the pitch is bounced to first baseman Wally Joyner. The run coming in, and let's see. Out at the plate is Mattingly, and Ron Tingley blocked the whole plate perfectly. On a fielder's choice, Joyner to Tingley, Mattingly is out. Paul was running on the pitches on at second, and Kevin Moss is safe at first base. Mattingly a little disgusted with himself on this play. Most of the time the coach would have a contact. If there's contact on the ground, you take off. Joyner takes his eye off the ball momentarily, but in looking at Mattingly, sees that Don did not take off immediately. And even with bottling the ball, he has chance to get the runner at home. Big out for the... Rolling in the dirt. Last time the Yankees made a West Coast trip, they won two of eight games. In fact, it was after a game here in Anaheim when Don Mattingly said, you know, I kind of wish we had George Steinbrenner back. And that was a 
a, a kind of a flagship kind of a day. The Yankees were seven and sixteen at the time. Thank you. So uh, New York baseball has been sky high lately, but the Yankees losing here and the Mets see their ten game losing streak go by the boards. But this game, way to go. They're only in the fifth inning, and Don Mattingly taking ball one. Mattingly has been aboard twice, has singled and walked. center field. Max Venable moves over to his right. And there's one away. Two away. Two down here in the fifth inning. Well, with the Mets losing. And Max Venable makes the catch. What about swinging at first pitches when you're down 7-1 and you have a runner at first base in the late innings? It's inning. kind of a, another one of those philosophies that have changed over the year. It's kind of like stealing bases when you're a, a few runs ahead or a lot of runs behind. And the same thing is true. The, you figure with a guy like Finley, he now has his control. If you don't hit that first pitch, if it's a fastball, that might be the best one you'll see. You may never get another one. Don Mattingly, who is one for two. He's also walked, takes a breaking ball outside. You contrast that, Dick, to, to years ago that you referred to as the managers would say, take a strike, take a strike. Don't swing till he... And then they would force you to do that. They don't do it quite as much anymore. Rodriguez on it first and a fly ball. Skies to left field. Polonia makes the catch and Mattingly is retired. Mattingly had raised his average from 253 early in May to 327. Right around the 300 mark and he's retired for the second time today. And you see him shake his head, Don Mattingly, and you can chart Don Mattingly's at bat, a little disgusted in the dugout. When he hits the ball in the air to left field softly like he did versus lining it, that gives you an indication whether he's swinging well, whether his timing is there. Well, Mel Hall is swinging well, and his timing's been there for a strike. See, Don Mattingly carried his hands very high early in the year. Now they're back down. The reason he carried them high was to hit down and stay on top of the ball and prevent getting underneath it like he did in that at bat. Just missing three and one now to Hall. 